What's up guys, Aiden here, it's on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best boot and shoe for lawn care, landscaping, tree work, whatever the outdoor service you're providing is. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Cujo Yard Shoe and the Cujo X1 Landscape Boot. Stick with me here, I bought these shoes. This is not a sponsored review. They did help me out with a coupon, but I still went ahead and bought these shoes. For a quick look, this is the X1 Landscape Boot, as you can see, clearly a boot. And this here is the Yard Shoe. As you can see, it looks much more like a shoe. First off, before we go ahead and get into this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these shoes look like. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that B-roll sequence. Here we go. Right, guys so right off the rip there's three things I want to talk about today one being comfortability two being price and three being whether or not you should buy the X1 landscape boot or the Cujo yard shoe so the first thing I want to mention is whatever shoe you buy they will break in after consistent use this boot can definitely be a little bit uncomfortable at first once it starts to break in it does become very very comfortable these are pretty comfortable right off the get-go there's not much breaking in that needs to be done, mainly because obviously you can see there's a big difference between the backing support and the height. Probably like a three inch difference. Secondly, if you look at the yard shoes, as you can see, they've got this rubber toe on there. And this rubber toe allows these shoes to be water resistant because as you're walking through the grass, all the dew's gonna go here and it's gonna keep it out of your feet, keeping your feet dry all day while you wear these shoes. On the flip side, these are the boots and they have a composite toe. It's not steel, it's made of composite. And as you can hear, it's nice and strong. You don't lose any flexibility because there's this area here on both shoes that allows for the flexibility in the shoe. The one thing I have noticed is that eventually the front of the boot does chip off, but I think that is par for the course just with boots as you wear them in. I promise I'm wearing these. Uh, the soles um, are breaking in. You can see some mud on them, but my brother decided he didn't have snow boots, so he was gonna wear these out in the snow, uh, which is not my recommendation, um, but he washed all the mud off of them in the process, so can't be mad about that. The second thing I wanna mention today is the price. The yard shoe comes in at $120, and the X1 landscape boot, sorry if I'm reaching down, I gotta grab the shoes. These come in at $175. If you use a buddy of mine, Brian Fullerton with Brian's Law Maintenance Code, you can use his code Brian's10, you can save 10% on either the shoes or the boots, whichever you choose, and that can get you, I don't know, like 10, 15 bucks off of each, so that's not a bad deal at all. Shout out to him for that code, that's awesome that he's able to use his audience to provide a code with these guys, because I really do recommend these shoes. I know a lot of other people that do stand by these shoes, so it's super awesome we're able to come together as a community and provide for you guys a code. I don't have one, but obviously I'm gonna support him, and we'll go ahead and use his code. Keeping this video nice and short and to the point, number three, what should you buy? Should you buy the boots? or the yard shoes. I think that's really gonna go ahead and depend on what your service you are providing. If you're just doing light mowing, some leaves and stuff like that, where you're not gonna get too wet, maybe some weeding, I totally recommend the yard shoes. If you're gonna be doing landscaping, tree work, you need that steel toe in case you drop something on your foot, or that extra uh, durability and support and water resistance, I totally recommend getting the boots. Obviously, they're a little bit more the boots, but they're definitely more support and provide more for those um, more labor-intensive services that you may be providing. But if your budget allows, I really do recommend you pick up both, whatever service you provide. Because if you get these really wet, you have a backup pair. Or if you're just doing like minor jobs like weeding, you can wear these and balance out your shoes. You'll be able to make them last a lot longer because you have two pairs. You can rotate back and forth. Whereas you might be replacing these more often if you only have one pair. So if your budget allows, I definitely recommend picking up both. If you put both in your cart, the Brian's 10 promo code will work to save money on both pairs of shoes. So that's super awesome to shout out to Brian Fullerton with Brian's Law Maintenance for the coupon code. Keeping this video nice and short to the point, that's really all I have to say about these shoes. If you have any other questions about the shoes, please feel free, leave them in the box down below. If I don't have an answer, I can get an answer from Cujo for you. With that, I'm Aiden from Amazon Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Shh.